హలో ఎవ్రీబడి దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ శ్రీనివాస్ వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీనివాస అకాడమీ మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నేను మీకు ప్రామిస్ చేసినట్టుగా ఎవ్రీ డే ఒక షార్ట్ కట్ తో మీ ముందుకు వస్తానని చెప్పాను అదే విధంగా ఈ రోజు కూడా మరో అద్భుతమైన షార్ట్ కట్ తో మీ ముందుకు రావడం జరిగింది లాస్ట్ వీడియోలో మనము హైట్స్ అండ్ డిస్టెన్సెస్ రిలేటెడ్ ఫోర్ మోడల్స్ కి షార్ట్ కట్స్ ఎలా చేయాలో చూసాము ఇందులో ఇంకా త్రీ మోడల్స్ ఉంటాయి అందులో ఈ రోజు ఆ మోడల్స్ గురించి డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం హౌ టు సాల్వ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ వన్ షాట్ అనేది ఓకే లుక్ అట్ ద క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ద యాంగిల్స్ ఆఫ్ డిప్రెషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టాప్ ఆఫ్ ఏ టవర్ ఆఫ్ హైట్ ఫార్టీ మీటర్ టు ద టాప్ అండ్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ ఏ ట్రీ ఆర్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ దెన్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద ట్రీ ఏస్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ టవర్ This is a level ground. On the level ground, this is a tree. Okay? This is a tree. This is tower. This is tree. Tower height of 40 meters already given. Yes. This is the position of an observer. Somewhere here he is sitting. Okay? whenever at the top of a tower there is an observer what will be his line of sight this is the line of sight okay this is the line of sight okay see he has observed the top of a tree at an angle 45 degrees he also observed the foot of the tree see angle of depression or angle of elevation is always angle between two lines of sight when he observed a certain object so this is the position of an observer this is his line of sight he has observed the foot of a tree at an angle of depression 60 degrees okay now by joining this and this we get this is 45 degrees means this is also 45 degrees both are parallel lines of course it is a 90 degrees this angle is also 45 degrees we know very well that about 45 degrees 45 degrees opposite side is x here to here this 45 degrees side is x so hypotenuse is x root 2 for the triangle opq for the triangle o p q let it be r s this is also 90 degrees here this is 60 degrees means this angle is 30 degrees this is also 60 degrees here to here this angle is 30 degrees okay in the triangle o r s 30 degrees opposite side y 60 degrees opposite side this is y root 3 and this will be 2y question is to find what is the height of the tree okay so height of the tree is nothing but s cube height of the tree is s cube total height is 40 meters y root 3 already given as 40 meters okay we don't know what is x value one we know x value height of the tree will be 40 minus x so just it is enough to find x value from the figure very clear x is equals to y why because p r s q is a rectangle x is equals to y and also 
y root 3 is equals to 40. y is equals to 40 by root 3, which is same as x. y root 3 total height, total height already given as 40. Okay, y value will be 40 by root 3. Already x is also 40 by root 3. Now, height of the tree is, height of the tree is nothing but PR, PR is equals to QS, QS is nothing but 40 minus X, that is 40 minus 40 by root 3. So, 40 taken out common, root 3 minus 1 by root 3, this is answer. Height of the tree can be found without using any trigonometric ratios. Just by using these two right angle triangles concept, 30 degrees opposite side x, 60 degrees opposite side x root 3, 90 degrees opposite side 2x, 45 degrees opposite side x, 45 degrees opposite side x, 90 degrees opposite side is x root 2. Because of we are using two right angle triangles in this figure, for one right angle triangle, I took sides in terms of x. For other right angle triangle, I took sides in terms of y. Okay, to avoid the confusion. Next, coming to next question. The angle of elevation of the top of unfinished tower at a point distance 120 meter from its base is 45 degrees. How much height must the tower be raised so that its angle of elevation at the same point may be 60 degrees? Okay. This is. The tower, this is the tower, okay, from the foot of the tower, from the foot of the tower at a distance of 120 meter, there is a point, this is an unfinished tower, means tower is till height T only, see from a Point on the level ground at a distance of 120 meter from the foot of the tower. An observer observed the angle of elevation. An angle of elevation is 45 degrees. Whenever this is 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees. This is also 45 degrees. Okay. Now the question is. How much height must the tower be raised? What is the height must be increased? Height of the tower must be increased. So that the angle of elevation at the same point may be 60 degrees. In order to get angle of elevation is 60 degrees at the same point. What is the height of the tower must be increased? Okay. Let it be P. TP is raised height. This is raised height. In order to get angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Do observe my dear students. Here also two right angle triangles we are getting. One of the right angle triangle OFT. That goes to our second case. 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees case. Other right angle triangle is OFP. It goes to first case. Here 90 degrees. Here 60 degrees. Rest of the angle definitely 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. Okay. See. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees right angle triangle is this. Now let us mark the sides. For a triangle 45, 45, 90. Sides can be taken as x, x, this is x root 2. For a triangle 30, 60, 90, 30 degrees opposite side can be taken as x actually. But already we have used the terms x for the smaller triangle. So 30 degrees opposite side 
let us consider as y 60 degrees opposite side will be y root 3 this total this is 2y so question is to find what is the height must be raised <coughs> the raised height is pt here total height is 1 y root 3 here to here it is x raised height obtained by doing y root 3 minus x very clear x value y value already given x value y value already given from the diagram only x is equals to y is equals to 120 meter so raised height tp will be y root 3 minus x 120 root 3 minus 120 which is 120 times root 3 minus 1 meters see my dear friends how much easy this question just it is enough to remember these two triangles measurements okay let's go to next model in this heights and distances see another model question the angle of elevation of a top of a tower is 45 degrees from a point 10 meter above the water level of a lake the angle of depression of its image in the lake is 60 degrees. Okay. The height of the tower is. Okay. That is the question. It is also. So first, we should know how to draw the diagram of a problem. Okay. So problem related diagram is very, very important. This is a tower. This is water level. Okay. This is water level. Somewhere here, a tree. This is a tree. Now, once again read the question, the angle of elevation of a top of a tower is 45 degrees from a point 10 meter above the water level of a lake. Okay. So, let us assume, let us assume 10 meter height tree is there. So, tree did not mention in the question we are assuming so there is an observer on the top of a tree this is a foot of a tree let it be p foot of the tower q is the top of the tower actual this is the line of sight of an observer line of sight of an observer an observer observed the top of a tower at an angle of elevation 45 degrees obviously this is a 90 this is 45 degrees very clear sides related to 45 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees this is x this is x this is x root 2 and also he has observed he has observed angle of depression of the image of the tower in the water in the lake water so this is water completely this is water level we can see the image of the tower in the water so this is q dash is the top of the tower image image of the top of the tower he has observed he has observed its image at an angle 60 degrees obviously this is 90 degrees this will be 30 degrees 
we know very well that 30 degrees opposite side is y in this right angled triangle 30 degrees opposite side is y 60 degrees opposite side is y root 3 90 degrees opposite side is 2y question is to find what is the height of the tower height of the tower do observe that whenever this is 10 meters here to here also 10 meter here to here also 10 meter okay so height of the tower is nothing but x plus 10 when we know x value we can find its height okay so already we know that we know that uh, this is 10 plus x obviously this is also 10 plus x height of the tower is 10 plus x okay so this is also 10 plus x its image also will be the same height now to find the height of the tower it is enough to find the value of x and y height of the tower is 10 plus x very clear to find 10 plus x it is enough to find x value to find x value it is enough to find y value so from here to here distance is 10 meter 10 plus x meter is equals to y root 3 y root 3 is equals to y root 3 is equals to 10 plus 10 plus x already x is the same as y we can also write it as x root 3 minus x is equals to 20 x is equals to 20 by root 3 minus 1 which is 20 by 20 into root 3 plus 1 by 2 10 times root 3 plus 1 now height of the tower height of the tower is is 10 plus x so that is 10 plus 10 times root 3 plus 1 10 taken out common 1 plus root 3 plus 1 root 3 plus 2 meters so this is height of the tower dear friends please like share and subscribe my youtube channel srinivasa academy for more shortcuts every day oka shortcut tho mi munduku raavadam jarugutundi in next video we will take next topic some other topic with wonderful shortcuts so please like share and subscribe and also you can download my srinivasa academy app from google play store there you can see more videos related to subjective and bridge course for the students those who have completed their 10th class please suggest the students to download the bridge course there are eight videos available with detailed concepts. Thank you. Thank you one and all.